Right behind me, this right here, the cemetery is really haunted. This is the Tonopah Cemetery. Uh, there's a lot of history, and we, we are going to be here tonight. And <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool, because I've been wanting to do the Clown Motel and this cemetery uh, for a while now, and I finally made it here myself and Murad from our group, Presence of the Unknown Paranormal. We are here. Some really good stuff tonight, so stick around. Welcome to the Old Tonopah Cemetery, which was founded May 7th, 1901. The townspeople of Tonopah died from a mysterious plague in 1902 which still remains a mystery. February 23, 1911, there was a huge fire at the Tonopah Belmont Mine. 14 miners died during this fire. Big Bill Murphy was one of them. He was trying to save some of those miners and he was 28 years old. Also, Nye County Sheriff Thomas Logan killed in a shootout in Manhattan Bordello. People say that the cemetery is extremely haunted. Many visitors visit this place every day. There's so much history here. Check this out guys, look what I fell into. Look at this. Look at that. Oh man, look at that guys. I fell in this hole. <laughs> oh my foot did, my leg did. I almost broke my neck. I wonder if I can see anything down there. What the what is that? like a toy down there? Can't tell. All right. We need to be extra careful, that's for sure. All right, so here we go again. After playing back the video, I heard a voice. So I did hear a voice say help. I don't know, what did you hear? After amplifying the voice and boosting it up, I heard help.
So at this particular cemetery, I was trying two different EMF readers, the K2 and the Rook by GhostStop.com. Both of these meters are really, really good. The Rook is really accurate. As far as the K2, it was pretty accurate too. As you can see, this EMF reader is going off. It's just lighting up. So, guys, look at my EMF right now. At this point, I didn't know what to think. I was picking up stuff everywhere. going off everywhere. Everywhere I walked, I felt like something or someone was there with me. Hi spirits. Can you flash that EMF meter? Whoa. Thank you. So I have the camera zoomed in a little bit so it doesn't interfere with it. And it's going off. Is there more than one of you here? Can you flash that again? Flash the EMF for me one more time. Let me know that you're still here. Thank you for communicating with me. Is there more than one of you here? Am I speaking to Robert? Am I speaking to Robert? Whoever's trying to communicate with me, can you flash that all the way, all the way to the red? Thank you for communicating with me. Can you pull? Yeah, the spot is active right here. So this area was really active right now. I went ahead and continued on, and the K2 was just, it was just crazy. So this area of the cemetery, you can see right there my screen changed colors a little bit. It's because my camera was acting up in this area. I'd ha I have no idea why. It happens again. Right here. And as I'm getting EMF readings, something interesting happens. Take a look. The K2 gets knocked over. I have no idea why or who knocked it over. So many children died here in 1902 due to a plague that broke out in Tonopah. Lots of visitors from all over that travel through Nevada stop here at the old Tonopah Cemetery because of its hauntings, because of its history. Some of the people that travel to the Tonopah Cemetery seen apparitions of minors and children. Some people say they hear voices of children laughing, playing, they hear footsteps, they hear voices from all directions. 
I believe there's something there. I really believe the children are still trapped at this cemetery. They're trying to cross over. As I was walking around the cemetery around where the children are buried, my camera mic picked up something that was really creepy. I picked up a child crying. That's what it sounds like to me. Take a listen. So after boosting up that third audio clip, you can hear a child crying. What do you think? Man, there's stuffed animals everywhere. These are all children over here, guys. <laughs> wow. is haunted yes I do between the EMF readings and a couple voices that my camera mic picked up I clearly understand what people were talking about this place is definitely haunted and I will go back again someday and I want to thank Marad for taking me here he's a new addition to presence of the unknown He's the one that took me to this location, and I'm glad he did. So please, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. And thank you for watching.